Welcome everyone to GamerMelt. Today, we have third-party benchmarks on NVIDIA's upcoming RTX 3070, NVIDIA cancels two of their upcoming RTX 3000 GPUs, and the first third-party benchmarks on AMD's RX 6800 XT are here. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, NVIDIA's RTX 3070 is just a few days away, which of course means leaks are a-flowing. And today, we have numerous third-party benchmarks that give us a good idea of the GPU's actual performance. Starting things off, we have a few benchmarks found by Oro Game, and as you can see, they come from Ashes of the Singularity. And when we compare them to the RTX 2080 Ti, we can see the 3070 is definitely on par with the GPU. Actually, they're essentially within a margin of error between one another, but the benchmarks don't stop there. Video cards shared a number of benchmarks from 3D Mark. As you can see, the 3070 got a score of 8,749 in Firestrike Ultra, 17,115 in Firestrike Extreme, 6,907 in Time Spy Extreme, 13,945 in Time Spy, and 8,324 in Port Royal. So yeah, certainly not bad scores, and according to video cards, the 3070 is getting very similar results to the 2080 Ti in synthetics, and slightly edges out the 2080 Ti in regular gaming. All in all, it certainly looks like NVIDIA's graph for the 3070 was accurate. Now, while the RX 6000 series is right around the corner, why not learn how hardware actually works with today's sponsor, Brilliant. The online learning tool with a focus on math, science, and computer science. So it's the perfect place to expand your knowledge on computers. I mean, from artificial neural networks to search engines and even quantum computing, whether you want to learn for fun or a career, Brilliant has you covered. And what's even bigger is that it's easy to learn. They actually show you how the concepts work instead of just telling you. Plus, there's daily challenges to keep you learning more. So don't wait. Learn the deeper side of hardware at brilliant.org slash gamermelt. And the first 200 people who visit the link get 20% off your annual premium today. Next up for today, the fairly anticipated 20GB RTX 3080 and 16GB RTX 3070 have reportedly been cancelled. <laughs> That's right, in a story by Video Cards, NVIDIA has allegedly told their board partners that both cards are being canned. This news comes from two independent sources, though Video Cards still marks it as a rumor for now. As for why NVIDIA decided on this, one source claims GDDR6X yield issues are to blame for the 3080, but we aren't sure on the 3070 given it comes with GDDR6. Honestly though, that sounds about right. Remember that yield rates are a big factor in pricing, and the main difference between the 3080 and 3090 is the amount of VRAM, yet the pricing difference is massive. Regardless, with AMD offering 16GB models, it'll be interesting to see how they stack up with such a big difference in frame buffers. Of course, AMD's total bandwidth is small given the tiny memory bus, but that's where the rumored Infinity Cache comes in. Either way, I personally thought 20GB was overkill given we saw so little difference in performance between the 3080 and 3090 at 4K, but 10GB also seems a bit low. Regardless, Nvidia likely has something up their sleeve. Maybe a 3080 Ti? Who knows? Lastly for today, we have it. Some of the first benchmarks for Mandy's upcoming RX 6800 XT. Now, remember that AMD 6800 XT is set to be the company's main Navi GPU, but there is a more powerful card in the 6900 XT. This is likely set to be the competitor to the 3090, but it's rumored to be an AMD exclusive and to come in limited supply. So the main big Navi card is AMD 6800 XT. Anyway, we actually have benchmarks from four different sources, and they all come from 3D Mark, so let's get to it. Starting things off, we have Capframe X, which is a benchmarking utility. And as you can see, they tweeted out a couple Firestrike Ultra benchmark scores. Now, here they only mention Big Navi, but given the other results, I will say that it's almost certainly the 6800 XT, but we at least know the next benchmarks are. Either way, here it shows the Big Navi card beating the RTX 3080 by just over 8%. Next up, we have the venerable Igor's Lab, who was told that these were based on a benchmark run by a board partner. Now, he originally got them in a percentage rather than a score rating, but he converted them to a score rating based on his scores. 
And as you can see, the RX 6800 XT beats the RTX 3080 and Firestrike Extreme by over 22%. In Time Spy Extreme, it only won by just over 3%, and in Port Royal, it lost by 22%. Now if we look at our third set of benchmarks from WCCF Tech, who claims to have gotten these from an AIB partner, we can see they're pretty much identical. And lastly, we have some numbers from the previously known leaker Kitty Corgi. According to these, Navi21 crushes the 3080 in Firestrike Extreme and Ultra, but lost a bit in Time Spy and Time Spy Extreme. With that said, it sounds like it's from an older engineering sample that had ADC use, while these benchmarks look to be much newer, which likely means they're more accurate given newer drivers, etc. Now, while 3D Mark isn't the end all be all for gaming benchmarks, it certainly helps at giving us an idea of what to expect. And given this, it becomes quite clear that AMD's RX 6000 series will be capable of competing with Nvidia's RTX 3000 series and actually beating it in traditional gaming, which is unbelievable. I mean, Nvidia originally seemed to blow expectations out of the water. It looked like they had it in the bag, but AMD has clearly come back stronger than ever. With that said, one place Nvidia seems to take the lead is ray tracing, and that's what Port Royal tests. So I think it'll ultimately come down to that. If you prefer more FPS and don't care about what ray tracing brings to the table, AMD could be your best bet. On the other hand, if ray tracing is something you're more excited about, Nvidia could be the winner here. Of course, if Nvidia doesn't get stock soon, getting a real GPU is a whole lot better than a hypothetical one. So while that does it for today, are you ready for Nvidia's RTX 3070 or are you just pumped for AMD's RX 6800 XT? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.